And now let's talk about Russia. Right after the attacks, Russian President Vladimir Putin said this. The sanctions were not enough for the Anglo-Saxons. They move on to sabotage. It is hard to believe, but it's a fact that they organized the blasts on Nord Stream international gas pipelines. After the publication of Hirsch's article, Russia began talking to the UN about conducting an independent investigation. This is what Russia's UN ambassador Vasily Nabenza told the UN Security Council in February. There was no doubt about the motive of the crime, nor its perpetrator, nor the way in which the crime was committed. This is even more than the smoking gun that all American detectives dream of finding in Hollywood blockbusters. I mean, I really like this expression. I think this guy really knows about Hollywood movies. Nabenza also said they were not here to set up a trial in the Security Council. Instead, they are presenting a request for an independent investigation due to doubts about the integrity and transparency of Denmark, Germany, and Sweden in their ongoing inquiries. First of all, none of these three countries has a good relationship with Russia, yet they are really good friends with America. Germany, for example, is one of the U.S.'s closest and strongest allies in Europe. Denmark, it is also a strong NATO ally, and the U.S. claims they have long enjoyed a close and mutually beneficial relationship. Sweden also maintained a strong bilateral friendship with the U.S., while being an enhanced opportunity partner (EOP) of NATO. So this makes total sense, right? Russia wants some answer about Nord Stream sabotage, and Germany, Denmark, and Sweden would be among the least favorable countries to conduct the investigations. It's like if I sue somebody, yet the judge is a good friend of the defendant. What am I going to do? Wait to lose? That's why Russia is urging the UN to conduct an inquiry into the matter.